Ronald Koeman has come out, Jules, critical of him, saying he should have taken at least one of those chances in the game at the weekend against Sevilla. And also now, the French national team manager having a word. Yeah, that's right, Didier Deschamps um, saying that he spoke to Griezmann and that Griezmann in a way is, is not too happy that he's not playing more centrally like Koeman. If you remember in the summer, I had a long discussion with him and told him and told everyone else we will play Griezmann in his best position to get the best out of him. And clearly that's not the case because he's playing out, out wide on the right hand side. And yeah, of course, he missed those, those two chances. I think Antoine himself knows that he should have taken at least one of them. And, and even the way he took them was not good enough either. But you could also understand his frustration of being almost an outcast in that team already so early in the season where he really thought with Kuman it was a fresh start. There were obviously all the rumours about Messi leaving as well that I think would have made Griezmann's life at Barcelona simpler because, and that's what we said we see it on the podcast, on the show with Gab, they're just playing in the same positions. It's, mm. It would be very hard for any manager in the whole world to be able to play them together and get the best out of them both because Messi and Griezmann are often in the same area. They, they're quite similar players. And, and unless one is in completely off position and unhappy, that you can't play them both together. So why is Koeman throwing him under the bus then, Gab? You know what? Stuff like this really, really annoys me. Now, I tend to give the manager the benefit of the doubt, right? Some players uh, respond well to public criticisms. Uh, others prefer private criticism. Griezmann, I think, is the first guy who knows he screwed up. But you know what? The thing is, Ronald, uh, the, the window is shut. Memphis Depay isn't walking through that door. Luis Suarez isn't coming back. Ronaldo, the original Ronaldo, isn't coming back. Uh, Gary Lineker sure as hell isn't coming back. This is it. This is your center forward now. It's either him or it's Braithwaite. There's nobody else. Nada. Nothing. So you have to be 100% sure that when you talk to him, you do everything you can to make him happy, to make him wanted, and to motivate him. Now, if Griezmann is a bit of a masochist and he's like, you know what? I like being thrown under the bus in public. I like, I like it when my manager highlights my mistakes in public. And I like it even more when he gets his little friend, my national team manager, to go and highlight those mistakes. That's what really motivates me to do the best. Um, then great. Then you did the right thing. Otherwise, I'm not sure how this is helpful. Kuman played. At the highest level, Jules, this is what I don't get as well. You know, it's not just a flippant, off-the-cuff comment. He knows what damage this can do going forward. That's right, but I think he's, that's, that's really him, to be fair. This is not, we've seen him having uh, arguments with a lot of the players before in pretty much every club he's been to. He's quite direct, he's quite bold, he's quite tough, while certainly he wants people to see that side of him. But I agree with Gab, sometimes he works pe with people and he doesn't work with others. Antoine Griezmann is, is sad, he, you know, things are not going well for him, he's not happy and I don't think he needs, on the back of all of that, his manager going out and saying, mm, do you know what, he had two chances there and he missed miss them, to make him even feel worse, because that's exactly what that would have done, that would have made him feel worse and he probably would have felt, do you know what, I didn't need this, you know, can you cut me some slack, I'm, I'm playing out of position when I thought this could be a good season for me, that I could come back and play my best and be a bit like, what would a player I was before Atletico Madrid and instead I end up myself playing on the right hand side and it's just not working out for me and then on back of that you go and back and, and just tell the whole world that oh yeah but look he's, he was, that was rubbish that was dreadful <laughs> I, I just don't think that helps that helps at all well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.